Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anibal Rodriguez, and welcome back to The Sit Down. In a world full of keyboard warriors, today we bring you two modern day warriors, gladiators, looking at each other in the eye, ready to face off on August 5th at the Commerce Casino, fighting for the vacant 135 pound Spar Star Championship belt. To my right, with a record of six and four, fighting out of Aguirre Fight Systems in Fontana, California, we have the great Daniel Martinez. To my left, his opponent, with a record of 4-0, fighting out of Cage Combat in Victorville, California, we have Michael Santiago. Gentlemen, welcome to the sit-down. Thank you for having us. Thank you, man. Daniel, I want to open up today's questions to you. My first question is, what do you see happening on August 5th? Uh, I imagine it being a tough fight, but I feel like I'm going to get the finish within two rounds. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I go out, man, every time ready to put on a show. So uh, I'm always looking for the finish, man, but I'm ready to take it to deep waters too. So whatever is available, man, I'm trying to get the stoppage. I think regardless of what happens, it's going to be a great fight. Okay. What do you see happening exactly? You know, man, uh, I don't like to game plan too too specifically but the goal is to get out there and uh, get the job done whether that means the ref comes in and stops it you know get the submission or get the knockout and like i said if we go deep waters we'll go deep waters well we're definitely going to find out on august 5th whether this is going to be uh, a fight of the night if it's going to be a, a stoppage a knockout we'll get to find out on August 5th at the Commerce Casino. My next question, Daniel, this is a, a vacant belt that both of you guys are fighting for. Why do you believe you deserve this belt? Uh, this is everything I work for. I'm, my goal is to be one of the greatest of all time, not just the Spar Star champion. I'm aiming for one of the best of all time, you know? So that's what I believe. I put the work in, and I think I'll be one of the best ever when it's all said and done. Wonderful. Michael, why do you believe you deserve this belt? Man, it's been a long time coming, man. Uh, Record kind of speaks for itself, you know. So um, four and zero, haven't seen a loss yet. So I'm trying to improve to five and zero, and I think I've set myself up for that opportunity. You know, I've been working hard. Teammates have uh, been preparing me. Coaches been preparing me. Family's got my support. My girl's got my support. Uh, she's supporting my me in this journey, and it's been uh, it's been awesome, man. So uh, I don't see why I don't deserve it. Wonderful. So gentlemen, um, it's very rare that uh, you get to face off, face to face with your opponent prior to the combat, where there's no words, just fists and kicks and whatever comes your way. Yeah. So you're looking at each other in the face. Um, my question to you, Daniel, is uh, what would you like to ask uh, Michael? What makes you think, where do you think you're gonna beat me? Uh, anywhere, man. I, that's what I train for, you know what I mean? You could be on the feet, take it to the ground. Like I said, you wanna push the pace, you could push the pace. Or if you want to take it, man, I think I'm going to get the job done. You know what I mean? I work hard for it. It's, uh, I get out there, man, and I, I turn on a different switch. You know what I mean? I be coasting. I'm chilling. Uh, very respectful to my opponent, everyone around me. But once we're in that cage, man, it's go time. And there's no looking back and uh, ready to be dangerous, man. Yeah, I'm excited. I feel like I'm different than anyone he's ever fought. I feel like I'm a way higher level grappler than anybody he's ever beat. My stand-up is my bread and butter, so I'm excited. I'm confident wherever the fight goes, for sure. How do you feel about that, Michael? Like I said, man, I'm confident in my skills, man. I work hard, I've been training for a long time, you know what I mean? I got tough opponents, um, tough teammates, and sometimes I feel like my sparring sessions are tougher than some of the fights I've had, you know what I mean? So I've been prepared for this moment for a long time, and uh, to have the belt on the line, man, just makes me that much more hungrier. And uh, like I said, when I get in there, man, I'm a dog yeah. off the chain. So, I'm ready to be vicious. I don't think he's had any sparring sessions. It's going to be the toughest this fight. Yeah, we're going to see. It's going to be the toughest one. We'll see, man. For sure. For sure. I'm excited. Heck yeah. Michael, what questions do you would like to ask to your opponent? Man, um, what makes you feel like you prepared for this moment more than me? I train all day, every day. This is all I do. This is my life, you know? I prepared for this since I was 16. This is just a stepping stone, you know? Right. I feel like I'm different than anybody not just in this fight, but out of all the fighters. I definitely feel like I have something special that you haven't seen before. Right. You know, my last fight had a little slip up, made a mistake. I was winning most of the fight, so I feel like that's a hard comparison to use, but I definitely got way more to show than what was in that fight. Yeah, man, that's exciting, man. It's uh, to have an opponent ready and prepared like that, it makes me want to push. 
Uh, I don't sleep on nobody. I give you all the respect, man. But like I said, I, I'm on a different field. I'm on a different uh, playing field. And uh, I'm ready to rock the show, man. Yeah. I'm ready to put, put uh, get my hand raised and uh, make, it, make things happen, man. Make things happen. Gentlemen, iron sharpens iron, and I can definitely tell both of you guys have a strong uh, mindset and are both uh, ready to go into the fight and give it your all. So I'm super excited to see this fight on August 5th. One last question to close out the show. Uh, I'll open it up for you first, Daniel. Um, what would you like to tell your opponent? Be ready. The way you're training now, keep training like that. Yeah. Push hard, dig deep, you're gonna need it. Michael, what would you like to tell your opponent? You know, man, I stay ready. That's what, that's what they say, right? You know, you don't have to get ready, stay ready. So uh, I've been prepared, man, for a long time. I've been through a lot of things in my life, and this is just another thing to knock out, man. And uh, you're just another checklist, you know? So it's just another stepping stone to get where I'm trying to get to, man. And uh, honored to be fighting yep, with you, man, and sure. to get to that next level. But uh, I'm going to get the job done, man. That's my goal. Yeah, one dream's got to break for the other to keep going, you know? That's right, man. So I'm ready to do that. We're all ready for you, for you guys to fight, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to purchase your tickets on Spar Stars website, that's sspmma.com. You can also watch the fight on the streaming app on YouTube, and we'll see you guys at Spar Star Fight Night 55. Thank you, gentlemen. Shut up, you want to shake hands?